Hello and welcome to the space, Cancer. Thank you for being here. Let's find out a message from the Holy Spirit that you need to hear at this time, okay? Current energy for you, Cancer. Eight of Wands. Tiger's Eye. Self-confidence through God confidence. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Wow. You're in this Wow. Very inspirational energy, Cancer. I'm hearing trekking forward. You, you know that you're going forward. You know that you're taking people with you. Like you're leading people out of despair, I'm hearing. I'm getting like leadership. Leadership here for Cancer. Very boldly here. Wow. I heard you're being afforded or gifted a pulpit. Some sort of... Uh, um, a microphone or some sort of um you know uh you know what i mean but you know you know a, a speaker or you know something like a podcast maybe or you're, you're being given something where you get to speak and people are listening um if if you only have like maybe say five views look at those five views like you are touching five people across the world or in your small community, or at your Starbucks, whatever it is, you need to see it like that's how you compound it up. That's how you. That's how you get to something bigger and bigger. You're grateful for the little things that you have, right? With five people, influencing five people positively, Cancer. That's not little. That's huge. Five human beings, five souls, that you are touching right now. Wow. I feel like there's going to be so much joy in that for you. Um, this is giving me an example. When I first started my, my tarot uh, business, I, I remember Spirit was saying to me, I was so worried at first, you know, public speaking, and they were saying, pretend you're talking to your friends. But I only had like two friends. <laughs> I mean, barely. Um, so they just kept saying, okay, we'll read for them online. Just assume that, because they were very loyal friends, right, at the time. And just assume that your two friends were the only ones ever clicking on. Okay. So read to your friends. All right, Cancer? Speak to your friends. So what are your goals and dreams at this time? In the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Birthing a new age and seven of pentacles. What is your hope here? I think that you're really trying to inspire because your heart is in such a good place. Like you are so good hearted, Cancer. Your goal is to really plant seeds in these people's mind and show them that everything is smooth sailing. Life is meant to be lived on autopilot, on easy, on easy mode all the time because you're birthing a new age. Your goal here and what I love about you, and this is exactly why the spirit world's about to help you infinitely, because your intentions are aligned with your actions. Well, at least this is what your hope is. We'll see if it really is, but this is what you're dreaming anyway. You're dreaming into being, planting seeds in the mind of these five people, or however many you have that you're impacting, trying to get them to see a new world, what it's all about, a new world and what it's all about, birthing that into being. By speaking it, by being it, by embodying it, Cancer. You're really just wanting to, yeah, inspire people into believing that everything is smooth sailing. Everything can be smooth sailing. Every day, life can be on easy mode all day long. Whether people believe it or not, I don't care. I, that's not up to me. I have to believe it, right? You have to believe it, Cancer. And you're trying to get other people, that th this is your hoping goal. Your hoping goal is to get people to believe it okay for their for their own sake not for you not to boost your ego but because this is what you are meant to do out wow. big it's big what was holding you back recently eight of pentacles answering the call and be gentle with yourself you're going a little too easy because i think you were in a nine to five that you didn't like or you were doing something you didn't enjoy you weren't answering the call that's what was holding you back but all of a sudden you are getting the call you're answering the call not only are you answering it, I think you're shocking even your spirit team at how good you are at it. Like how effortless it really is starting to be. It might even be surprising you as to how effortless your, your leadership abilities and skills are. Your skill set. It's from a past life I just heard. 
Yeah, the time is now. You, you thought that there was always more time and you're somehow learning. Nope, there's no more time, it's now. You were going through a lot though. You were recovering and healing a lot, but you're, not, you're, you're done, you're done with the healing. You're done with the healing and now you're ready to be the healer. Wow, Whew. but not only the, okay. You're, you're ready to be the leader. I heard there's a distinction and I'm not sure what that is, but I'm getting there's a distinction here. You're leading people into believing they don't need a healer. They are the healer, they are their healer. Five of Swords. A leader takes on a more combative role in a way, like um, we'll, be, we'll be causing some of the chaos with the things you say. I think that's why you're so confident right now. Uh, because you're meant to be, because you're meant to do something pretty big. 555 on the clock with the five of swords. You're meant to be kind of rattling cages. Um, that's the difference between a healer and a leader. I mean, I'm not saying that they're not one and the same. They normally are. But one with the sun is more healer, gives energy, right? One is more rattling cages. Not really there to hold space so much, but kind of there to... Mm rile things up one kind of mends one riles things up you cancer and what it looks like you're being asked to rile things up so yeah phobia in reverse i think that you just you just removed some sort of phobia maybe about like you're not having enough money to do it or if you leave this job this business like you won't be able to make it make ends meet or something like that i feel like your call for your call for change is far greater than your worry or fear of money not having enough what is hidden right now? Great adventure. Take a risk, venture forward. Yeah, oh my God, you guys, I, I swear to everything. I don't look at these cards first, I swear to you. I like to be surprised. I like to see how good my intuition is. And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing right now. You're almost like seeing how good you really are at something and it might even shock you. But we have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? I was getting warrior, like you're the warrior, not the healer, okay? And then three of cups. What is hidden? Mm-hmm, 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 yeah. In this card, there are three people sitting behind him and we have the three of cups. So I'm getting, you don't see yet. Other warriors, this is what's hidden. You don't see yet other people coming in to match this level of effort, match this this frequency that you have here, this this direct blunt uh, truth, this, this way of delivering messages or doing something that's a little rattling of cages. This is gonna be met with other people who are doing the exact same thing as you. And it's like, they're taking your, like be, you are a leader leading leaders now. This is, this is okay. <laughs> this is big. This is big. And you knew it. You knew it was. That's why you were being held back. That's why you held yourself back. You knew it was big. Um, I'm drawn to the fact that... Oh my god. I... This is backwards, isn't it? If the wind blows that way... Wouldn't normally the, but wait, wait, am I, am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it wrong? Okay, maybe, maybe not. I'm not a sailor. I don't know, but I just, I'm trying to think logically about like how this is working. I don't know. It looked backwards to me. It looked like he was leading from the back, which I think right now is kind of a really uh, like almost metaphor here. And that while you're a warrior, you're finding people in the back. You're finding people that are hidden. You're gonna be met with people who are very much matched with you, but it's more like they're not loud and boisterous. You are loud and boisterous. You're gonna find others who are a little bit quieter, but still evenly yoked exactly where you're at. You know, it's gonna be a match made in heaven, quite literally, actually, I heard. Um, these people are matched with you on a higher plane of, uh, of existence. Like, they're matched with you 
subconsciously because you you already know them at a soul level um so what's going on next for you what's shifting soon ouch ten of swords ancestors generation grace and gratitude through gratitude joy expands how is your energy shifting soon yikes I don't even want to go into it. I feel like that's what it is. You're not going to want to go into the Ten of Swords anymore. But I feel like the answer to your leadership is in the Ten of Swords. It's in despair. It's, it's, it's looking at the despair but not taking it on. The leadership itself that you're about to exhibit is fueled by your ten of swords whatever pain and agony this was in the past it's how you are while well, finding these other warriors right look at her holding a sword i'm getting the entire ten of swords here it's like how are you going to prove that you are who you claim you are unless you have a ten of swords story and what you're going to be doing is gracefully releasing these swords because it's not yours it's your story it's not your karma it was generational. It was a past life thing. And it was also from your, your, which is a common theme right now in my readings is like, people are really clearing a lot of ancestral karma. It's crazy. It's a freaking amazing. I'm, I'm here for that. Everybody's shifting so big right now. Um, I heard everybody's going big and going home. That's what I heard. Wow. Go, go power rangers. That's what I just heard. <laughs> go, that's funny. Ten of swords. So this is where your power lies you see how graceful she looks even laying there like that's despair right but she almost looks like a model it's like you're going to be maneuvering soon the energy for you is you're going to be maneuvering soon through these ten of swords like yeah look that really hurt right but look how good i am or yeah that 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 betrayal was horrible wasn't and, and listen to my story but then you can get out of it really easily and people are uh, uh, watching you get out of it really easily and that's how you're going to find the right ones these ones also get out of their Ten of Swords very easily as well. Again, it's not easy. The Ten of Swords already happened. That was not easy. None of that was easy. It's the storytelling about the Ten of Swords that's going to be easy for you. Okay? And you're going to be giving gracefully afterwards and forgiving those that betrayed you. Which is, again, going to be bringing in these people who are very much uh, up to speed where you are. Okay? Beautiful. Um, I feel like I need to tell you, you've graduated so much. You've expanded so much. You've jumped so many timelines like you're not even the same person um it might even shock you soon how far in the future you really are like you are your higher self now you are your higher self now so what do you need to watch out for you can't make it up i swear to you i didn't look at this six of swords getting to calmer waters it's like you are your higher self you are you are your higher self now. You are the version of you that you've been wanting to be for a really long time. Passion and pleasure and tend to the small things. Um, I am getting the four, number 40 here. I'm getting 40 days in the desert. 40 days. I'm getting the desert. Like the Ten of Swords is the desert. It's the, it's the plane of existence that was brutal for you. It was so bad that it actually ignited this pain, which actually ignited the passion and pleasure. I didn't mean to say it ignited the pain. It ignited the pain, I think, that got you out of your comfort zone way back here in the Eight of Pentacles. At work, maybe a job that you hated. Some, some work that you didn't like. Yeah. Wow. I think it's just going to be incredible. Like... Watch out. I, I, yeah, yeah. You're you're definitely following what you're supposed to be following now, and it's like an everyday occurrence. You're gonna feel passion and pleasure in just little things, mundane things like doing the dishes, and calling your friend, and um, going for tea, or just taking the trash out. It's, it's just every little day thing. 
yeah, you need to watch out for that soon because it's going to get better. I heard the name Taylor. It's going to get better because you're going in the direction you're meant to be going in, okay? So it's going to be, it's, you're just going to feel happy all the time. How are others viewing you? How are others viewing you right now? Impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. That's what they're seeing. They're seeing you go from this old thing that didn't work for you. They're seeing you take a new path. Reflect and redirect your energy. We have answered prayer and three of wands. They see you getting divine help from higher realms. Mm -hmm. I feel like you might even pray out loud in front of people. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting like somebody heard you pray or they know that you're praying. They know that you're talking to the universe to get what you need. People are seeing you do that. Either they're literally witnessing it or they just assume that you're praying because you're getting answered prayers. People are watching you right now. The universe line up everything perfectly and you getting miracles that others don't get. And the reason that they don't get those miracles is one, they don't believe that they exist. Two, you're on your north node. And three, you're supposed, you're owed these because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and the universe wants to benefit you. You're in flow. That's what happens when you're in flow with the universe. You get blessed. Right, you've made the risk, now you get the blessing. So your overall outcome here. Yeah, eight, you, you, you walked away, eight of cups. And there's the desert, the 40 days of the desert, right? You walked away, so now you get the blessing. Claim your independence. F fellow travelers, you can't make it up. Support is all around you. Tell me why I'm seeing this as Moses leading people into the promised land, tell me why. And then we have the freaking desert here, like, Oh my God, this is biblical, bro. There's something so, and plus there's, there's God here. I talked about God a few times. We've got the prayers here. I feel like, I feel like this is, this is really your call. Like this is, this is your life mission. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm hearing the people from the past are not going to be making it. Not all of them because they're not fellow travelers. They're not traveling through this impasse like you are. They're not making it through the desert because in the, in the story, Moses was telling people what to do to get to the promised land, but a lot of them turned away and said, no, we prefer Egypt because Egypt had better food. So leave us alone. We're going to go back. Egypt in that instance represents ego. People wanted to go back to egoic ways, but Moses led people out into the promised land into abundance. Let those people go who do not want to sacrifice anything. They don't want to sacrifice shit. They don't want to go without for a little while. They don't want to. Don't, don't make them. Don't force them. You just keep leading the way. I'm telling you, you're doing the right thing. Um, claim your independence and you're doing it alone. All by yourself right now. There's help. There will be fellow travelers meeting, meeting you along the way. But right now, it's just you. And you're going to have to kind of be okay with that. Okay? For a little while. You're going to have to be all right with the fact that you're alone right now. Alone but not lonely. I'm going to leave it there. I love you, Cancer. Bye-bye.